Time now for one of those another intuitive ideas, how to keep everything ticking over. In fact, it might be the very new normal, which I know people hate that expression now, but Peter's joining us down at the cathedral in Peel. We, oh, at the place we've done a few interviews there. That's where you do all the teaching with the choirs, right, Peter? It is, absolutely, and the teaching of the choir continues. Well, this in, is what we're talking fact, about. You, you, you've gone remote, obviously. Absolutely. So uh, we're doing three, or I'm doing, leading three sessions a week for the child choristers every week during the term time, and one session for the lay clerks. How and, are you uh, doing it? Is it like a massive Zoom event, or was it one-on-ones, or what? Yeah, it's actually, no, it's, I'm using Microsoft Teams uh-huh. uh, with a plug-in microphone, and I'm sat here, the piano is next to me, and basically I lead the children uh, join up on Teams, and I lead the session through Teams, hearing them one-on-one, and then all together very occasionally because the technology is not developed enough. Um, so, and we do, uh, basically we do kind of or, what we call oral tests, which is uh, singing tests, uh, rhythm tests. We do some psalm singing. We've been uh, learning music and we've produced, we actually produced a virtual choir thing a few weeks ago, uh, which... Um, so you, was, you, was you're quite, working on new material. I mean, eventually when you all finally can get back together, albeit with whatever social distancing yeah. required, you could actually come up with this new material to perform. Yeah, we'll have a new base of repertoire, completely new base, uh, which, which uh, covers all sorts. So we, we're still observing the same sort of church seasons. So, for example, we observe Ascension, we observe uh, Pentecost, which is this coming week. So the music that the children are singing is associated with those festivals. So it's, it's normal routine, just the fact that we're not actually in the cathedral building. How is it helping uh, the people in your choir? Because you know, with this, with this being locked away and social isolation as such, it must be quite uh, a, a, something to work at, you know, and, and have a goal there. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's it's really difficult, and we we kind of must underestimate the effect that this lockdown is having on the children. Um, it, it, we we know ourselves as adults what kind of a, a changes our life. Uh, we've had to do but for the children it's very different of course um, particularly children that have no siblings no brothers and sisters they're kind of in their home on their own really and and music has become partly uh, uh, an escape from the routine of that monotony uh, that, that the children experience so as part of the teaching we have um, uh, one session so in addition to the three teaching sessions one session is a kind of a if you like a drop in chat via Zoom, where the children have the space to express themselves and talk about what they want to talk about. Obviously, I uh, supervise that with another. We have a, a, the curate also supervises that. So there are two of us in the room at, at every time, including during the teaching, um, to maintain the, the, the safeguarding protocol. But I think it's really important that the, the children are interacting with me. They're interacting with the cathedral. They're interacting with each other and, and they're singing which is really important. Because without this, things would really just slacken off, wouldn't they? And people would, would forget just stop. things. Absolutely. So before we go, are you still looking for any new members? I mean, should they apply yeah. to you? Can they? Yeah, I mean, we'll be rolling out, obviously, depending on how long this lockdown continues, we'll be rolling out a virtual kind of uh, process, a recruitment process, because, of course, I have to safeguard the long-term future of the choir and the, the song school here. Um, so watch this space for more details. But if you are interested, children from the age of seven up to 16.